mouse down tool is CPLD familiarization. The objective of mouse down tool is getting start with EPM240 CPLD, familiarization with various methods of design entry, and creation of more modules for design reuse. In this milestone, we will build a Knight Rider light using the CPLD and SX LED. We will create all low level modules first, afterward, they are integrated at the top level schematic diagram. First, we have to build a PCD counter. We have to open a block diagram and then open the LPM counter. Give the name. Okay. We have to set the Q output to the 4 bit and set the count modulus of 10 and build a single file. This is the PCT counter. Give it the input. And the output. Let it become bus line. And name it as Q3 0. And the input name is S G C OK. OK, that's it. OK, so after finish making the BCD counter, the next thing that we'll have to do in order to finish the whole system is to have a BCD decoder. In order to have the BC decoder, you have, you can just uh, take it from the symbol tool. Then you can search 7442. Then you have a BCD decoder. So this one is the BCD decoder. And don't forget to add notes on every input so that later on the bus can be connected to these four inputs. That is for the BCD decoder. And then another thing that we will have to do other than the BCD decoder is to have a mapper. To create the mapper, you'll have to open to have a new file and then create this thing that I have created earlier before. This is the inside of the mapper. And after you finish creating this with 10 input and 6 outputs, you can just go to file and create a symbol from all of it. And then you can go back to this before, so that when you go to symbol, go to the very top, to the project, and you'll have mapper. Just simply add it to the block diagram. And then you have your mapper that can be connected later on to the PCD decoder. For part 2.5, we are required to simulate a partially completed circuit. We need to insert the mapper symbol from the last part and connect it with the 7442 PCD decoder. We need to add 6 output ports to the mapper and label it at A to F. And here will be the schematic diagram of the partially completed circuit. Now we have to simulate its output waveform, set the file as top level entity and run the compilation. Then next for part 2.6, we need to build a preschooler using Verilog. 
file. We go to new and then select Verilog HDL file and then enter the code just like as shown here and then we need to save this file as preschooler.v set it as the top level entity and compile it then we need to set this preschooler as a symbol file After it's done, we go back to the top level schematic diagram and add the preschooler symbol. We need to connect it in between the clock input and the LPM counter as shown. So here will be the schematic diagram of the circuit before we program the CPLD. So now that we have finished designing our circuit, uh, we will make a new ver a copy of it so that we can have a, back uh, a backup for our design, just in case any problem arises. Uh, first off, we will set our new copy to uh, as the top level entity. After that, we will go and make sure our devices and settings are correct. Uh, here it is selected as our uh, uh, CPLD. Then we will go to Assignment and Pin Planner. The, uh, the pins that are selected in our, uh, in our design after uh, compilation are here. The, uh, the global clock and A, B, C, D, E, F are out, our, our output for the LEDs. We, for, uh, the, for the G clock input, we will, we will assign it to pin 64 and we can also assign, uh, uh, yeah, we will assign it to pin 64 uh, as this is the clock input. And for the other outputs, uh, we can uh, use any circle shaped pin. Circle shaped means it is uh, an, uh, uh, a user accessible uh, input output uh, pin. For, uh, here we assign the from pin 74 to 86. You can choose any, uh, any pin. Uh, however, it is best to choose them close to each other to make it easier for wiring. Now that you have set all of the pins, you uh, you uh, you you set the pin by selecting it and uh, clicking uh, choosing the node name here. So now that we have uh, done it for all the pins, we will go and recompile it again. After recompilation, yeah, it will appear to you these uh, boxes that uh, shows you which uh, uh, which uh, input and output is. Uh, map to which pin so now that we have finished this part we will now go to tools and programmer uh, you will have to have the usb blaster connected and uh, the usb blaster uh, driver uh, uh, installed so we'll go to hardware setup after re uh, installation and go to, uh, choose the our USB blaster. After that, we will go to add file, and in the in in the in uh, in the output files uh, file, you will find a .pof file. This is our file that we can use to program the CPLD. So we'll choose all of these uh, check marks and uh, start the programming. You will have to make sure that your CPLD is connected to your device by the USB blaster is switched on and connected to the power supply. So now that we have finished programming, 
we can see here that the LED one LED is switched on while the rest is off the sequence goes from uh, goes from pin A till pin F and back for each bit this is our uh, circuit this uh, circuit setup uh, for each pin from the cpld uh, we have a resistor and then uh, connected to our led at the anode and connected to the vcc voltage now as you can see it, uh, our pins are connected to the same pins that we have designed in our uh, the circuit for example this is 74 76 uh, uh, 78 82 84 and 86 this is the switch on and off this is the actual uh, epm and this is the GTAG that we we would use to connect to our laptop for programming and this is the power jack this sequence is called night rider whereby it goes from the first uh, uh, led to the last one and back <laughs> 